guys, Kill here, you're watching Gamer. Now, is this the end of E3 as we know it? Maybe kinda. Because, first of all, a couple of months ago, EA announced that it will not attend, uh, will not have a boot or a game show at EA this year in 2016. A little bit later also Activision announced the same thing. No real Activision boot on the ground floor on E3. I was like well that's two big players not really rep represented at that game show which is of course the biggest game show in the world. Now today Disney Interactive and Wargaming also announced that they will not attend E3 this year. Oops. Like, this is very strange. Like, all these big gaming companies, software or companies like backing out of E3, the biggest gaming event of the year. Like, all press, everyone's there. Like, looking at all the new stuff that gets announced there, and they're like, nope. We won't be there anymore. Of course EA and Activision and probably Disney will partner up with like PlayStation or Xbox to show their products via Xbox or PlayStation in their boots. But still, these were big players. They had massive boots who were like really cool to look at. Of course E3 is not really public centric only for press. So even even in that, if you look at the footage that was made by press at the E3 conference, the boots were always looked amazing and like giant stuff they put there was all cool. It you know went on covers of magazines like it was you know a showing of like bam here's EA or here's Activision and they're like nope not gonna do that anymore. Now EA is holding a small public event. Which of course is different than E3, because E3 only press can go, not public. So EA is holding a public event with small boots for like people... Normal people can, in theory, buy tickets or walk in and test games, which of course is really cool for us normal people that <laughs> are normal gamers. Because EA is limited to press only. Is this like... The big players want to get rid of that, they're like, let's show our games to the gamers. Because it, and then you cut out the middleman. I don't know. <laughs> like Gamescom in Germany. It has a like a real presentation of, of game developers, like an EA would have a show and have a boot in the conference hall, like for normal people to test out the games. EA, E3 doesn't have that, it's only press. Gamescom has people. You can buy tickets, because I did it last year, you just buy tickets online and go. Real easy. Is this a way of EA to say, to force E3 to become a public event? I don't know, because they're like, hey, we want people to try our games and not just press. Activision's move in that is not really sure either. Maybe all these companies are looking at Nintendo's uh, way of doing E3 for years now with their Nintendo Direct like they don't have a big show that costs lots of money, they have small boots where you can test the games but the Nintendo Direct is purely Nintendo talking to its core audience directly at the gamers with a video that's on YouTube for everyone to watch at the same time. It's like Preaching to the choir, you know, directly to the, the the core audience of Nintendo with their Nintendo Direct. It's a easy and cheap way to do it. Maybe like Activision and EA and Disney are looking like, well, we want something similar because E3 is this very expensive thing that's only for press people, and we want to like include everyone. Still, it's a weird thing. Because E3 is like the big bombastic boom, here it is, here's all that information. I've never been to an E3, but as a gamer I always look forward to the time when E3 is 
and all the press is covering it and you can look all that stuff up on an IGN or something it looks amazing all, all these new things get unveiled and it's it's just the, the, the hype, the craziness of E3 is just awesome in my opinion. Is that going to die out? Is E3 going to become smaller like they once tried a couple of years ago? Can't remember the exact year, exact year but they once went to a smaller conference which kind of was a failure because like the big press people didn't attend anymore. It wasn't on like Rolling Stones magazine or anything anymore. Like they need to boom here is E3 to get all the press all the world to notice what's going on of course now with internet popularity skyrocketing with social media Twitter Facebook they kinda can cut out the middleman some bit you always want, I want the people who will go to an IGN to look up the new stuff but if you just subscribe to the Facebook page of EA or something, you get all the information from EA games you want directly without any interference anymore. So in that sense, it's cheaper not to go to E3 for a publisher than to do, but you're missing out the big boom coverage of our here I am. So yeah, we'll see. Are those the only companies that are going to back out of E3 this year or more to follow? Is this the real downfall of E3 as we know it? We'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, that was it. All I can say is enjoy and keep playing.